everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to share with you this week. First of all, I've got some happy mail, some friend mail. This was sent to me by Barb's, really kindly. She actually purchased two and she said that she thought she'd send this one to me because she figured I would be able to do something fun with it. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this one. It's a nice background die. You can do some great paper piecing with this as well. But there is also two parts to it. So you can have them on their own, but you can also, if I buy the cover, says the layered plaid cover die so and that's a and then I've got B so I will probably end up doing that so then I can create this nice effect here but you can see you get lovely effects with them on their own anyway and you can layer them up and things like that so that was really kind and just to give you an idea this was a beautiful card that Barb's made and you can see she's used that lovely plaid kind of detail in the background there it almost reminds me as well of like maybe a window you can actually probably put some acetate behind it it's great for shaker cards and things like that so thank you very much your card is beautiful and that was a really nice gesture for you to send that to me continuing on with the friend mail I received yeah this is what I got this was from Helen from Handmade by Helen so she as she must have heard me mention in one of my past tutorials or a live um, I said I needed to get more of the book binding glue I love using this glue when I make mini albums it's um you know well it's book binding glue so it's perfect for those kind of jobs it's just very very tacky and it it's got a really quick grab and uh, yeah really really good glue so thank you for sending me that it was really thought thoughtful she also sent me some hook and loop so these are the 10 mil so it's a size that I do use a lot so again those will get used and then she knows I love butterflies so she sent me I think it was five they're all different um, they are printed on this thick cardstock, but there's all these butterflies. So I am going to sit down <laughs> and I'm going to fussy cut them because I do love to fussy cut. I did scan them through my brother's scan and cut. It just didn't like it. It was picking up all like the, the darker spots here and it just, it would have just ruined it. I would have lost too many butterflies for the odd one that it did pick up, like things like that. These ones you know, with more of that solid black. But as soon as you get into like the polka dot background and stuff, it just kind of confused it, I think. But um, nonetheless, they're beautiful. I will definitely be using them. So I'm gonna sit down, cut them all out, and then they're done. And I'll put them in the, you know, I've got some of those little perspex drawers. I'll pop them in there. And then I've got them ready for when I make my cards. The back's plain, which is perfect. These are by Lemon Craft. And it just says vintage time. This one's 023. That's vintage time 021. 028, 016 and 022. So I will link to Helen's website in the description box and um, you know go over there have a little look and uh, yeah you might be able to get a hold of these yourself. I'm not too sure like I said I've not heard of Lemon Craft before but um, they're beautiful. Look at all those ones in the purples. So that was really again very kind and she also sent me three boxes of the packs of 10 Tunnix Tunnix tea cakes. So I've got 30 Tunnix tea cakes, although I haven't got 30 anymore. I've probably now got, I don't know, 20. <laughs> anyway, thank you again. That was really nice of you, Helen. And then I've received tons of magazines. So some of these you would have already seen, and I think I've featured the creative stamping one. Oh no, this is the new, no, sorry, it was this one. The Simply Cards and Papercraft was the one that I'd already featured, I think, in last week's. But the reason I've got this one back out again is because the free gift that you got with this, which was the embossing folder and the stamps, they coordinate with the now Tropical Treetops stamp set from the latest Creative Stamping. So these are all by Practical Publishing and they've just they actually put it in the magazine that these coordinate really nicely together so if you're someone that likes to get the UK craft magazines and you've already got that one because I know that lots of you went and got this one after I made the triple diamond card using it and you get the A5 embossing folder is brilliant with this one it is such a good buy because you got like I said the stamp and the embossing folder and um, I've already made a project using some of the stamps in this which you'll see actually two projects now because I've used the sloth in one of them and then I've used the parrot in another. So you'll see them in some up and coming videos. But it's a great, as always, big A4 stamp set. And the they like collaborate with another brand. So this is with Stampendous. So that's the, the parrot. You've got the hornbill. You've got that um, tropical frog or toad. No frog, it is tropical frog. And then the oh hello there. But again, really nice. I love anything with leaves. <laughs> they just are great. And I've used the trunk as uh, the tree, tree trunk there. You've got a happy birthday. Wish you were here. Thank you. Best wishes. Sending sunshine and for you. I love that butterfly as well. And then as always, it's packed with loads of inspiration, but also this paper pad. And 
there's some really beautiful papers here. So on the back, it's a nice, I'd say, does it actually say? I reckon that's about 130. It's thicker than copy paper. Definitely much, much thicker than that. But it's, you know, it's still in that paper. So you could make lovely envelopes with this as well. But um, you've got all this on the back here. So you can cut these out. They're great for journaling, popping in your planners and things like that. And then you've got these prints here. Love these. I think I'm going to have to do something with, the leaves, with these. I actually would just like to put that in a frame. Um, and then maybe have like a smaller cut piece of that and then a photo. I don't know, something just about that. I just love it. Really fresh. Then you have this one here. These scream fussy cutting to me. Really nice. I love all these stamps. I have a, a very large collection of original um, used, you know, they've all been franked, but I love old stamps and I like to put them on the envelopes when I send my cards. And um, I saw these ones and I thought these are really nice. Uh, to, again to fussy cut and just to finish off your envelopes and stuff I think they look fantastic so that's probably what I will do with them it's too nice to just have on one project I'd rather get you know them all cut out and um, use it that way especially like that oh happy day there I love the parrot with the 10 cents and this font here let's celebrate you it's got a real kind of um, fun fair kind of look or font to it for me and um, you've got the cake and ice cream there confetti wishes just really nice and then you've got this one here so again, you can see how this will all work, you know, with your stamp set there as well. And then you've got more of that tropical kind of theme. Love this with like the garland of all the tropical leaves and the parrots with the party hats on. I think that's really nice. And then that back there look lovely all cut and to use as like your, you know, mats and layers on your gift boxes and stuff. Got this one here. Again, love that. That'd look great on a gift bag. And then you have, I think it doubles. Yes, you've got two of every page. So now it starts to repeat again. So you've got this one here, which is the, the front here. So again, I would fussy cut all those out because they're great toppers. They're great for, you know, again, journaling in a, in a mini album, something like that. They look really nice. And then it just repeats all the way through. So two of every page, which is perfect. So yeah, really, really nice. Lovely matte finish, nice quality. And yeah, with the magazine. So that's what you get with your creative stamping current issue. And that is 85 issue. Um, again, I always rave about these because I think they're such good value for money. And I love them. <laughs> then next we have the latest issue of Papercraft Essentials. So this is issue 188. And within this one here, you get a kit to make these box cards. Now I did start putting one together and I'll show you how it looks here. You've got all different themes, but this is how it will start to look. Okay, and then on this tray here, I have all the bits that pop out. So on each page, because you've got enough here to make six shadow box cards. So you've got some foam dimensionals there. And then here, so this is like the back and then the front frame and then these are all the pop-out elements that you can use to build up. It's double-sided as well, so it's, you know, it's patterned inside and out. And then you've got this one here. So you get two of each. So you've got the greenhouse. Yeah, two of the greenhouse. No, there must be more than that. Oh no, these are then the inserts, sorry. So these are the three scenes. So yeah, there's the two there. Then this two with the arch of roses there and then two of the greenhouse and then these are the pop out kind of insert pieces so that's that one which I've popped out here then you've got this one you've got the swing you've got the swinging kind of chair there as well or the, the bench the seat whatever you want to call it so again two of those and then you've got this one here which is really cool I love that with the pumpkins you've got the onion heads there poking out the be uh, yeah beetroot so they're really good so yeah you've got loads in there and you don't you don't just have to make the box cards because inside the magazine there's loads of inspiration on how to use all of those kind of elements with other card styles so you know as an example on the front there they've done a circle card using all those pop-out pieces and it's a thank you card and it's got the barbecue scene there and then down here you've got a box card but then there's an easel card there's another box card there's absolutely tons again this is always filled with so much inspiration and um, yeah there's just heaps in there to keep you busy for an afternoon and um, yeah just enjoy there they are you see them a bit more I love this one actually with the rose it looks really nice with the bow detail so yeah I think I'm going to make a lot of these up because they're those handy cards to just keep in your stash you know quickly make 
and um, you know they're ready to go so that's issue 188 of Papercraft Essentials. Then I've got the next issue of Simply Lettering and I have started using the last one. So those of you that watched the What Did I Get where I did say about I need to start, I basically need to learn to write again <laughs> because my writing's shocking and I have started doing it. So it's a slow pro process but I, I'm determined to get there. So this one here you get um, four neon gel pens and there's lots of other you know competitions to enter giveaways and everything else and then here's your magazine so you've got this is simply lettering by the way you always get a practice sheet so um, you know there'll be all sorts in here as well but these are the gel pens now I love bright colors and this one straight away just screams use me so um, yeah perfect for lettering and journaling with impact so I'm not going to get them out I will test those out and use them accordingly but yeah if you're someone who is really into you know your writing and writing in your journals and um, just documenting your 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 life really and you just enjoy learning you know to write basically and all the different beautiful fonts I wish I could get better at it um, but hopefully I will but yeah there's some again it gives you obviously ads there for the other magazines but there's just so many great examples I'd love to be able to do all these different fonts but that's what the magazine teaches you as well so um, and there's Lou who's the editor of the magazine tons so again not going to go through all of it because there's loads in there but um, that'll be another one that I will, um, yeah, I'll have a read through because it's, I'm surprised, I am actually learning quite a bit, surprisingly. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so that's the Simply Lettering and that one is issue 11 now. Um, so, it's yeah, that's passing by quickly. And then this is the volume or issue 11 of the Hunky Dory magazine kits. Um, I actually did get to do some samples for this one. These are bumper packs. I mean, anybody that, you know, enjoys these box kits, you do get a lot of stuff in them. Um, the Crafters Companion ones, the Hunky Dory ones. Um, I know there's the latest um, Phil Martin ones out at the moment, which again, I did get to do some samples for. So um, it's I love doing them. I do really enjoy it actually, because I, I quite like sometimes someone gives you a kit and you've got to create just with that it's quite fun so I do yeah like I said I do enjoy them but in this one here just give you a quick overview so that's your box because I know lots of people do like to keep them in those but this one you get an embossing folder a die and the stamp set okay which you can see there again some really nice fonts and um I had to actually I had to do some masculine makes I always get asked to do the masculine makes so um, yeah, I've done masculine makes for the last Hunky Dory kit actually. So maybe it's because they liked what I came up with. So that's why they wanted me to do them again. And I'm actually doing, no, it's not masculine makes for the next one because I have got the next one actually. Um, yeah, that's actually just next to me. So I'm working on that one at the, at the moment. But, um, and it was a joy to see one of my makes on the front because when you imagine so many people, you know, make the samples for these magazines, you've got 81 spectacular projects and one of mine's on the front there. So I was really chuffed to see that. And it's a shadow box um, and I made a stand for it and um, it was a, a Father's Day piece. So I'll just quickly, again, kind of flick through here. Like already you can see the easel cards there. I mean, you can use these kits in so many ways. You can just pull out elements of them. You know, you don't have to use all of it. And um, yeah, just make beautiful cards. So I'll just give you a, 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 I won't show everything. I'll show you my masculine mates because I think that's quite, um, Good timing really considering we've got father's day just around the corner but i won't spoil all the other beautiful all your regular designers are in here some really nice ones so here's my ones here so i made this it's i guess it's yeah well they've put it down as a memory book it's like a little mini album and it had eight pockets in it all with these photo mats or journaling kind of cards um so you could put a nice little thing together there and give that to your father or the you know the the man in your life who you look up to or you would like to say thank you to. Um, it's a really nice idea and I love the, the images that I got to work with. This was probably one of my favorite ones that I done and it's actually, it's just a notebook that I covered with one of the beautiful, um, it's like um, a harbor. Um, you can see the boat there and I actually made a bookmark with one of the pop out pieces. And it was, it's very, very simple, but it just made a simple textbook into a really nice gift. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed putting that one together. Then I've made a gift box. So it's just showing you ways to use the card socks because they're, you know, they're, they mainly are for making cards, but um, 
I got asked to make some 3D projects with them. And then I made this gift bag, which I love. I really did like that one. The way it just worked perfectly, having that beautiful harbour scene that just worked around the bottom of the bag. And it's solid cardstock. It's really, really thick. So yeah, it's just really nice to work with. And then there is the shadow box. And it's that beautiful cottage. And it says to someone very special. So yeah, they're the ones that I've done. But like I said, I'm not going to go into all the other ones. But there's just so many lovely kind of ideas. And then here is all of it. And it's there's loads. You can see how thick that is. It's thicker than the magazine. And yeah, you definitely get your you know your money's worth with these. So um, and that's a nice gift in itself. I'm actually going to pop this into my giveaway basket because it's a lovely gift it really is so that will feature in one of my facebook live craft alongs i always do a giveaway at the end of each of my lives so um yes yeah, someone will be able to get their hands on this and i will also be giving away this as well because i already have it because when you work on the magazines you get sent the product beforehand to then create with and you get to keep it so i already have the die the embossing folder and the stamp set so i think that will make a really nice gift so um yeah i'll have a little flick through the magazine but um yeah i would uh, i'd like to pass these things on and this was given to me anyway so it um i'd rather it go off now to someone else that can enjoy and create some lovely things with it so yeah that is volume or issue 11 of the hunky dory premium magazine okay and then this one is um <laughs> So I have a rather unhealthy obsession with Bob Ross. Now, if you don't know who Bob Ross, Bob Ross is, then where have you been? Um, Google him and then you will find out. But basically they show reruns on TV here in the UK and I watch him most evenings and it's just incredibly relaxing and I basically fall to sleep watching Bob Ross paint. Now, sadly, Bob Ross is no longer here. He is a lovely man. I think he's just the sweetest guy ever. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on because I really could talk about him <laughs> longer than is probably um, needed. Anyway, so I follow Sugar Pea Designs. They're a US-based stamp company and they had their latest release probably now about two, maybe three weeks ago. And they released, amongst other things, but they released a Bob Ross inspired stamp set and I just oh my gosh I saw it and I was like I need it now this has ended up costing me quite a lot purely because their prices were completely fair this these are $12.99 each okay I think that's you know that's that's pretty standard but then I had to pay $16 shipping and then I had to pay £15 in custom duty so yeah <laughs> It is what it is. So it's it's here now. I've got it in my hands. I'm going to create some fun cards for it that will go off to my other crafty friends and people that I know will appreciate this. I'm also going to make a really nice little kind of framed piece. So I'm going to basically make a card and then put it in a frame and keep it in my craft room. I just really enjoy him. I've learned so much from the from his style and just how he paints and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you love Bob Ross as much as I do. I've even got a Bob Ross Lego little character, I guess. Um, I've got a Bob Ross t-shirt. And um, yeah, <laughs> hey, that's um, a little bit more that you know about me. But anyway, it's it's lovely. I think Sugar Pea Designs have done it perfectly. It says there, there are no mistakes, only happy little accidents. Then you've got you've got your happy little trees. You've even got the, you know, his um, is kind of is thinner, I guess, in the, in his little um, pot there. The squirrels, because Bob Ross just loves his animals, particularly squirrels. And then it says here, everybody needs a friend. And then it says, wishing you a happy little birthday. Again, if you're not familiar with Bob Ross, you need to just watch even one of his painting shows, and you will start to understand. Yeah. But then it's not going to be for everybody, but I just think it's adorable. I love it. I will be keeping this card because I just think it's so cute. And this is something that I will, you know, pop into my journal or one of my junk journals. And um, yeah, I just think it's just such a nice thing. They sold out. I literally, it came on at 7 p.m. in the UK, which I think was midday or, or 2 p.m. I think um, these have come out of Orlando, I believe it is. So um, I went on straight away, got it. And then within 
not long after that it, it had gone so I'm glad I've got it it's um yeah it's it's rare <laughs> so um again I'm gonna you know there's gonna be some people I know looking thinking Sam are you mad why have you brought that why did you pay so much don't know who he is <laughs> but it's I just thought I'd share it for those of you that do enjoy this kind of thing and maybe you have the same obsession that I do with a very lovely and talented man so anyway I'm gonna go and um, probably go and watch some Bob Ross whilst I make a nice card with my new Bob Ross stamps and dies. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's what else I got. Okay, so that's everything for this week. As always, I will link as much as I can below. Thank you for watching. I hope it's made you laugh or smile in some way. Drop me any questions in the comments and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.